this is Jason Benson and today we're talking about the knife edge circle with one and a half positive snaps on the back side. We're going to start this maneuver from the left flying straight and level parallel to the runway. As we get closer to ourselves we're going to roll to knife edge with the top of the plane towards us adding left rudder to maintain our altitude. Once we've established our knife edge attitude and we get in front of ourselves we're going to go ahead and add down elevator to start an outside knife edge circle and we're going to fly a nice easy circle all the way out to the back side. When we get about parallel with the runway again on the back side of the circle, we're going to do a positive left one and a half snap to now right knife edge, right rudder, left side with the top of the plane towards us again, and we're going to pull elevator to finish out the maneuver. When we get back in front of ourselves, establish a straight line in knife edge attitude, roll to level, and fly away. A couple of tips on the knife edge circle. First of all, you're going to want to practice the knife edge circle without the one and a half snaps on the back side until you're comfortable. One thing you'll notice when you're flying the circle, you'll establish your knife edge. As you get in front of yourself and you start your push, you're going to actually require a little bit less rudder to maintain altitude. If you're not careful or you're not used to this, the plane will start to climb. So that's something to practice the first couple times. Same thing's true after the one and a half snaps and your pulling elevator. Because of the centrifugal force of the airplane, now it's not requiring as much lift from the rudder in the side of the plane, so it's going to start to climb so you can back out on the rudder a little bit. Next, let's talk about the difference between the pushing and the pulling. Uh, obviously, when we come in knife edge plane with the top of the plane towards us, we're going to push down elevator to establish this, which is a negative load on the wings. If this was written in a rest, it would be a red dotted line for negative wing loading. You're going to fly around to the outside, do your one and a half snaps. Now the top of the plane's towards us, but we want to continue to turn towards us, so we're going to pull up elevator to make a positive turn coming towards us to finish out the circle. Next, let's talk about the snap on the back side of, the, of this maneuver. Practice high. I say this in every aerobatics article we do. Every time we talk about aerobatics, practice high, practice high, practice high. Uh, things happen quick in a snap roll. You're gonna come around the outside. You're gonna do your snap and a half. If you stay in the same direction rudder, you're gonna be wrong rudder, you're gonna be heading at the ground. So you're gonna to wanna to fly this a few times and get used to reversing the rudder direction to maintain the altitude of the plane. Also, it's gonna take different amounts because the snap is gonna slow the plane down. So you may have to give a little more rudder at first to maintain and then as the airplane picks up its speed again, you'll at, or reduce your rudder slightly as it picks up its airspeed and finishes the circle. If you've never flown the snap roll, Let's, let's start with that. So a snap roll is positive elevator in this instance because it's a positive snap and same direction rudder and, and aileron. So if you were flying along straight and level, you'd pull elevator to stall the wing. You'd add rudder and aileron, which would cause the plane to move in a helical motion. The tail moves around the flight axis and then back to recovery. Uh, this is going to be a good thing to practice a few times and get used to. The next step I'd recommend in this is I would try the maneuver with the snap roll the one and a half snap at the quarter mark instead of all the way on the back side of the circle. This way the plane is facing away from you and is closer so you can actually see what's happening in the one and a half snap. Then continue to just fly the last three quarters of the circle on the opposite knife edge until you're comfortable performing the snap roll here, then move it out to the back side. And for fun, you could even move it all around to the last quarter and get used to that, but that's going to be, of course, the trickiest because now the plane's coming in towards you and it's going to take the most thought and most comfort with this maneuver. 